Okay, pass on Max. Looking for this bad boy? Yeah, actually, why do you have it? Professor Toomey wanted me to test the telephoto for a videography class next week. You know, it's hard sometimes. Having to do so much for so many every gosh darn day. Being the professor's favorites. Having them ask for my expertise and advice. Underclassmen looking up to me. You know, I sometimes forget what it's like to have nothing to do. Kind of like you. Tyler, just give no, me the no, goddamn no, no, camera. No, 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 no. Maybe for a $20 accommodation fee? Come on, what do you say? Buy my boy some pizza. Or, how about I let your boss know about the melee tournaments that you host in the screening room during after hours? Got you, you little creep. Someone just fell off the roof. So I'm up there trying to catch my ghost and this shit happens. Shouldn't I be looking at like a chalk outline right now? Well, these detectives don't really do that anymore. See, there's a device called a digital camera, but I get your point. Check this out. Yeah, what is so important about what I'm looking at right now? Look closer. <sighs> yeah, I still don't see anything. Nor do I smell, feel, or even taste anything. Quite the crime scene, Miss Marple. Exactly. There's nothing here. Not even a crack in the pavement at the point of impact. Do you smell that? Chemically, vaguely smells like nail polish remover. That's an industrial grade chlorinated bleach mixed with oxalic acid. Perfect for your heavy duty deep cleaning jobs like removing blood stains or general bodily excretions. Someone's been watching too much Law & Order. You're kidding, right? If I wanted to know how to get caught, I'd watch Law & Order. Forensic chemistry major in my past life at State, remember? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little caffeine deprived at the moment. Care to grab a coffee and cash this out? You know, Max, you don't have to do this all on your own. In fact, why didn't you just call the boys in blue the moment that it happened? I don't, I don't know. It didn't come to mind didn't come to mind, huh? Some dickhole has been harassing you for weeks with USB drives and it didn't come to mind to tell anybody about a disappearing corpse in the same parking lot? I call bullshit. Here, why don't I just call the donut patrol right now? No, Jenna, do you have an Uncle Deco? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about mine. That's his real name, by the way, <laughs> Serbian Mafia. He was a mob heavy back in the 70s who made his bones in one of the most vicious gangland executions in the history of Belgrade. The heat was on, so he came to the US to hang out with family, my family, for two and a half years. He's dead now, a suicide. But because of my last name, the police, both state and local, have my family on their shit list. They wouldn't have helped me if I begged them to, and if I had called them like you're suggesting, they probably would have pinned the body on me. Oh, come on, Max. You sound delusional. 
How do you even know that that's true? I mean, the cops probably don't even remember your Uncle Deco. When my brother was 14, he was beaten up really badly by these boys at his high school. I saw it, they didn't even deny it, but when my mom called from the hospital to have the police arrest those boys for assault, they basically dropped it. No follow-up, nothing. I'm sorry that I asked, Max. Genuinely sorry. I never liked the fuzz anyway. Hey, now you need to sign in. All right, here we go. Ooh, harder, Daddy. What do you think? The dude on the ground saw the whole thing. Yeah, definitely. Just look at his eye line. You can see him see it. Whatever it was that happened. And now to combine them all. Cross your fingers. What do you want? I need this room to set up clips. What are you writing? It's from this fucked up video. Someone keeps leaving Max these video messages with nonsense words, as if anyone could figure out what they mean. The whole thing says Cole favors a snill. <laughs> no wonder you can't figure it out. It's probably a monogram. Uh, what? Have you never heard of a monogram before? It's like a, a word that gets jumbled up and you make other words out of it. But you seriously never heard of this before? Right. I think you're talking about a anagram? Yeah. Where does huh. Professor Andrews keep all the board games again? Say, um, you guys do know there's this thing called the internet, right? 
What was the thing again? Coal favors us nil. Most of these aren't even words, let alone make any sense next to each other. I think we should keep trying. You know, there's only 24,612 results. Yeah, like, uh, only one I recognize is Carnival of Souls. I had to scan a reading on Wait, it the other- Wait, you know what it is? What is it? I mean, all I know is that it's a movie. Like a really old, weird movie. Here it is. Yes! It's teamwork! Come on, let's get this grub going! Wait, wait, Max. Are you sure we should be letting Tyler watch this? We don't even know what we're gonna see. I mean, he did help us find it, and it can't hurt to add more brain power to this, right? Even if it is that. Turn it down. Oboe 40? Is this another anagram? Could be. No, it's a street. 40 Oberlin Street. They're throwing down all the time. My boy Kevin. I like to call him Case Steezy. Lives on the third floor of a triple decker. Anybody that Case Steezy lives with look like this? Who's that? That's what we're asking you, darling. No, that's none of his roomies. Second floor is all chicks, so that kind of cancels them out. I've never seen who lives on first floor, though. But I know someone must live there, because there's this lamp in the window that flickers constantly. Thanks for your help, Tyler. Uh, time for you to go home, maybe play some melee? I guess I'll just... Yep. yep. Put this away then. We're laying low. And turn your fucking phone off. You're practically hand-feeding evidence that we're here to the feds with your text message locations. Okay, okay, detective. Wait.
Let's follow him. Are you high? He'll recognize you. I think we're... Yeah, I think we're being followed. That's ridiculous. Perfectly normal for another car to be on this street. You're being batshit paranoid, my friend. See? Just paranoid. What's he doing now? I don't know. Max, what are you doing? He's not just gonna willingly hop in the car with us. He'll need a little push. Are you kidding me with that thing? Max, get back in here. Statistically speaking, what are the odds that that car over there also happened to be going to this exact building at 11.21 p.m. and decided to take the bicycle-friendly route instead of Route 9? Max, focus on the task at hand. How are you going to get that guy to get into the car with you? And if you manage to do that, how the hell are you going to get him to talk to you? No, I'm, I'm done with all these fucking creeps thinking that they can do whatever they want and watch us all the time. Like, I need to know who's in that car. That's it. You've officially lost it. Hope you found what you're looking for, asshole. I have your plate number memorized. Oh, what the hell? Really? Come on, get out of the car. What are you doing here? Idiot. I wanted to see what you were doing because you wouldn't take me along. Oh my god, I really don't have time for this. Yeah, I don't. He's coming. Oh shit, come on, come on. Why is Tyler here? I don't. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like someone's not too happy with you. Screw. Need a ride? expensive thing I own was my bike. I think you know why you're here. I got this. Look, why don't we just start with names? You know, like orientation. I'm Jenna. What's your name? He didn't recognize me. Not at all. Don't you think that's a little strange? Look, dude, all of this is strange. Like, really strange. That's it. She's not getting anywhere. Max, what are you doing? I was getting somewhere. It's time to get some real answers. What? Are you gonna drug me or something? The masks aren't necessary. I've already seen your faces. 
including your boy back there. What? Did you forget about the mirror over there? Have you heard of hydrogen sulfide? It's highly odorous, flammable, and in strong enough concentrates, poisonous. It occurs naturally from the decay of organic matter like sewage, manure, and even sulfuric hot springs. Or you can get it from a chemical supply house if you have the clearance. Or just steal it from the university lab. To the human nose, it smells like an intense mix of rotten eggs and sewer juice. Times 100. Just really nasty. Yeah, what she said. So needless to say, I have a few questions for you. Look, I'm sorry if I violated your property or whatever, but this chemical warfare stuff is some next level petty shit. Violated my property? I don't know, paint damage? Fucked up your windshield? You don't know what's on those drives? No, I don't look at them and I don't ask questions. I'm just the courier. Come yeah. on, Max, this is way too far. Stop it, please. Someone was thrown off the roof at the Langlau Film Art Center at the university. I was there, I saw you see it. Tell me what you saw. Look, you don't understand. I'm just a part of this game. I have no idea what's on those fucking things. I get one. And I bring it to you. I don't ask questions. I can't afford that. They're blackmailing me. To do what? To pay attention. What did he say? Damn it. <sighs> Useless piece of shit. Is he dead? No, just passed out. I only did like 30 milliliters. He'll need a long, hot shower and to thoroughly scrub his clothes with vinegar, but other than that, he'll be fine. <sighs> Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Hello? It's me, Buckman, the guy with the dead bike. I need to meet with you. I have something for you. Well, what is it? You can't just tell me now? And how did you get my number? I have to show you, in person. Meet me at 390 Grafton Street, 10 o'clock, no cars.
okay? What's going on? How did you find me? Thought you might need some backup. We're a team, remember? How about we cut the shit, Jenna? I never told you I was coming here. <laughs> Thought you'd never figure it out, honestly. I wasn't gonna let Buckman ruin this for me. Not after everything I've done. Everything I've been through. <laughs> the USBs. The videos. It was all to get you focused on one thing. The crazy freak leaving them for you. You think you're some great detective. But you never once asked why. And you know what makes me a genius in all of this? I know you well enough to know that you would do anything to find him. The mystery man. You're that easy to play. But why kill Buckman? What did he do to you? You really don't get it, do you? Buckman is a nobody, a random fleck of dust. I just needed someone, anyone. And the only person with any motive to kill him is you. Max, darling Max. Tyler has seen you stalk and harass Buckman, interrogate him. I've seen it turn from an unhealthy obsession to you following him around like a bloodhound on the scent. To the police, it'll all fall into line. You're the perfect prime suspect, the obvious culprit. Gang boss Deco's little violent stalker niece, who as of tomorrow morning, will be found dead next to Buckman at the scene of the crime. Your uncle didn't do a very good job at laying low in the States, did he? In fact, he committed a run of violent crimes. Maybe killed a witness or two? A young mother, say, I don't know, about 20 years ago? I've had to live without her all my life, all while that scumbag uncle of yours has been on the lam. And your family covers up for him, unrepentant. How is it fair that I lose my mother? Dead or not, Deco should have to lose something too. And you're the best sacrifice I could find. Do you get it now, Max? Well, Jenna, I have to say, I'm glad you said all that out loud, but I figured it all out three scenes ago. And that's why I've been recording you. You know who's gonna hear that whole whacked out confession? The Massachusetts State Police. You hate the fuzz, right? I spent a lot of time studying that picture of Buckman, trying to figure out what he was looking at that made him so shocked. But then I realized I was looking for the wrong thing. It wasn't what he saw, but who? The look on his face was recognition. He saw you at the top of that building, the one who was blackmailing him to harass me. That's why he couldn't say anything to us when we had him tied up in the basement. You were there. That's why you wanted to talk to him first, not to loosen him up, but to save your own ass. And now you killed him.
Dude, what happened in there? Well, after about 15 hours, they're convinced I didn't do it. Uh, I'll drive. I'll tell you on the way back. And when they went back to examine the last video, you know, the find me invoice, they had a digital forensic expert retreat the audio and revert it back to the original, which was, of course, Jenna's voice, so that kind of sealed my innocence. Damn. And you think you know someone? She did it all by herself? That's what I think. She wanted to control it. The only way to ensure that it's done how you want it to is to do it yourself. Her slip-up was using Buckman. Yo. That's fucked. Yeah. It all is.